This is the video for the Unit A study guide. So at the top, I'm trying to change things to standard. I tell the kids to put in big bloody commas on the word million and the word thousand. And then we just do chunks. So what do you see in front? I got a six. I have my comma, 294. My comma for thousand. And then 512. Trying to make my pen just a little smaller. Uh, 700,036, there's a comma word, 1,000. In front, I got 700. After it, I got 36, but it has to be a three-digit chunk, so it's going to be 036, because i got to have three digits after the comma. Uh, when I have this kind expanded to standard, I just start with the ones place. I see I got a two in the ones. There's nothing in the tens, so that's going to be a zero. I got a four right there in the hundreds. A five in the thousands and an eight in the ten thousands. So that would be eighty five thousand four hundred and two. Come over here, try this one the same way. Looking for ones, I got a five. There's a nine in the tens, a seven in the hundreds, a two in the thousands. There's nothing in the ten thousands, so that would be a zero. And then I got a four hundred thousand at the beginning. Be careful on these kind because I don't always put them in the right order, but I'm doing the same kind of thing. I'm looking for ones. I have none. I have two tens. There are six of the hundreds, nine of the thousands, and five of the ten thousands. So that number is 59,620. Uh, here's that one I was talking about being tricky. Three ones. So I got a three at the end. There are no tens. There are five hundreds. No thousands, no ten thousands, no hundred thousands, but we do have six in the millions. So six million five hundred and three. Over here, no ones. I got nine tens, no hundreds, and one in the thousands. One thousand ninety. This kind base ten blocks to standard works the same way. Start with my ones, one, two, three, four, five of them. Two tens, one, two, three of the hundreds. And one of the thousands. Over here, same kind of thing. I got four ones, three tens, no hundreds, one of the thousands, 1,034. Uh, we're writing the number in expanded form. Okay. So for me, this one, I prefer to go ahead and write it as standard first. So I got 74,325. And then I just say what each digit's worth. So I got a seven right here in the 10,000th place. It's got one, two, three, four spots after it. So it's going to have four zeros after it. Plus the four has three spots after it. So it's going to be 4,000. The three has two spots after it for 300 plus 20 plus five. Uh, down here, they've already have it written in standard. So it's going to be easy to go to expanded. Same kind of thing. The three needs five zeros after it because it's 300,000 plus 10,000 plus 6,000. I don't have to put the plus zero, so I'm just going to skip that one and go to plus 40 and plus 2. Write in word form, 329 is an example of word form. So really this is just however you say it, that's exactly how you write it. So I got 248. My comma is the word thousand. Two hundred forty-eight thousand nine hundred sixty-one. Just write it just like you would say it. Does not have the word and in it anywhere. Uh, this one before I do write it down that way, it's also easier again to get me to a standard. So I got thirty-eight before my comma. So there's thirty-eight thousand. 206 after my comma. So that's exactly how I'm going to write it. 38,000. Down here at the bottom, we're doing the same kind of thing again. So I want to see what my number is. I got one, two, three, four, five, six ones. Four tens, three hundreds, two in the thousands. And I just write it that way. Two thousand, three hundred. 
And remember to make sure you write them all in words. I almost put the number three there. 46. All right. Going to scroll up here. May have to pause for just a second. All right. And we're back right here. I want to tell what the four is, the four, what place it's in. So the ones place and the tens place, the hundreds and the thousands. So he's in the thousands place. And then I want to know what it's worth. So I whack them all. I put down the four. Everything else after it changes to a zero, that would be 4,000. The three, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And then I write the number down, change everything else to a zero. So a three in the hundred thousands is going to be three hundred thousand, just like it sounds. Draw the base ten blocks for two thousand five hundred eighteen. So I'm going to need two of the cubes. There's my two thousand. I need five of the hundreds. They're all the big squares. Three, four, five. 110, I tell the kids they can just write it as a line, and then the 8, 6, 7, 8. Come over here, draw the base 10 blocks for 1,053. So I need one of the cubes. Uh, 1,053, there are no 100s, so I don't need any of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the 10s, and 1, 2, 3, 1s. Down here when I'm comparing, I check the part before the comma. 127, 127, they're equal. Go to after the comma, 345, 534, 534 is bigger. Same thing on this one, 375, 375, 98 is going to be larger than 89. On this part, I like the kids to go ahead and work it out really fast, just so they can, they can see which one's bigger. And over here, I got four digits, so I got a six here, and there's a zero in the thousands on that side. Circle the greatest number, so I'm checking the first parts out, 354, 354, 345, he would be smaller, 345, he would be smaller, so I'm rid of those two, 602, 620, there's my winner. Looking for the smallest, well these two guys both have six digits, so I can get rid of them, 90,000, 84,000, on the back, why is the three worth, why is the three in this number worth more than the three in this number? Well, because this three is in the ten thousands place, and this three is in the hundreds place. So this is really 30,000, and that one's really just 300. And hopefully you'll be ready for the test tomorrow.